Hey guys, happy Wednesday, August 30th, 2006. I'm Jackie Jagman, and this is Zerfitch.com. Have you heard about the new AOL Music Store? It's called Music Now. I believe it was just added yesterday, actually, to their music service. And what it is, is it's a web-based music store. Um, you can subscribe to it. You can, you know, download songs. They have over two and a half million songs available for download and you can also stream videos and things like that and you can get programmable radio which all sounds great except for the fact that not many people realize that AOL is no longer a service just for people that subscribe to their internet access so I can see it possibly taking a while to take off but in case you weren't aware you no longer have to subscribe to AOL Internet Access to use AOL services. This service is open to any online user. And it's actually incredibly cheap. For a full month, you can subscribe for 10 to $15. And if you want AOL Radio with uh, your XN music service, then that's only $5 a month. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cheap. Like, real cheap. So that, that's definitely, definitely good. So there's your news for 2006. What's happened throughout the rest of history? In 1918, Kitty Wells is born in Nashville. She is later the first female country music star to hit the top of the charts. In 1938, Susie Q, rockabilly star, Dale Hawkins is born in Goldmine, Louisiana. In 1963, the awesome music mixer and DJ Paul Oakenfold is born in London. In 1965, Bob Dylan's all-electric album Highway 61 Revisited is released. In 1972, despite two previous solo performances, most fans considered this to be John Lennon's first real solo performance. Yoko was left home. But he performed for the benefit of the One to One charity, and at the end of the show, he was joined on stage by Stevie Wonder and Roberta Flack to sing Give Peace a Chance. In 1973, the doors finally break up. Wait, Jim Morrison died in July of 1971. Apparently it took them a while to realize that they were nothing without him. I don't know. In 1981, the Stones released Tattoo You. I wasn't even alive yet, but I can pretty much guarantee I was probably a pretty happy egg. Mm -hmm. In 2000, Shirley Manson appears in a chat room on Girl.com and is quoted as saying that she softened her hardline approach towards Britney Spears simply because if we're going to have any such vacuous pop stars in our midst, it's alright if it's Britney, because she has a sense of humor. Unlike that hideous creature, Mandy Moore, Mandy Moore is foul, you must admit. She is absolutely hideous. I want to slap her from here to Tuesday. Kind of angsty, but doesn't make anyone love her any less. And in 2004, Outkast had an awesome night at the VMAs, taking home the awards for Best Video of the Year, Best Hip Hop Video, Special Effects, and Art Direction for the video Hey Ya. It is officially two days from Riffage's launch date, and you should all be excited, because I'm excited. Um, Friday you'll get to see what changes have been going on, and hopefully you'll be excited, because I'm excited, and, and until that happens, you're stuck with me. So I'm Jackie for Fish.com, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.